In today's Ready e c a d e m y we are going to discover the magic of mixing colors and creating new ones. Hi, mommies. This is Teacher Lisa of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program, where we believe that learning could be fun. Meaningful and exciting. Here at Galileo, we provide your little buddies with learning experiences about the world through creative, meaningful, and imaginative activities. Welcome to our classroom. Today's lesson is color play with your buddy. Did you know that we can create new colors just with the use of the three primary colors? Let's get some bursts of colors with the help of Chucky. Before we start, you can first drink Chucky. With your buddy, not only is this drink delicious, but it is also packed with nutrients that helps with the growth of your little buddy. And we will also be needing the pack for later's activity. Here are the materials that we will be needing for color play with your buddy: paper, paper plate, glass of water, scissors, paintbrush, paint, and 250 ml Chucky Tetra packs. And when you're done drinking Chucky, it's now time. To lift the flaps on each side and cut our pack open. So please be careful in handling your scissors. You can also cut the pack in half so that later for our activity, your little buddies could have a better grip of it. And when we're done washing and drying our pack, it's going to look like this. Now it's time to cut this part of the pack. Let's put it upside down first. And get our scissors. But again, word of warning for when you use your scissors. Now we're going to be cutting two-inch strips going upward around the perimeter of our chucky pack, like so, as if giving it a flowy skirt. You could ask your little buddies to help you in cutting the pack. So that they could develop their pincer fingers. The pincer fingers are what they use for cutting and also for writing. We're almost done. Just one last side of our pack, and it's now time to lift up the flaps, like so. And lay it down flat onto our table. Now it's time to get our paper plate and our chosen paint for today. You can ask your little buddy to choose between blue, red, or yellow, and I will be choosing the blue today. Going to open it up and get my paintbrush to get just enough paint to put on our paper plate. Right here, I will also be needing to get water. So that I could dilute our paint, just make sure that the surface of the paint is enough for you to dip this pack in. So while you're working on this, you can ask your buddies to help you identify the color of the paint that you are using right as of the moment. Now it's time to stamp our chucky pack onto this white paper. Let's dip our chucky pack onto this blue paint. Make sure that the skirt part is fully submerged in the blue paint, so that when we stamp it onto the white paper, we're going to see a burst of blue. And then we stamp it. Now you can ask your little buddies to do this for you. Do the tapping, tapping, so that we can see the direction. Of the burst of this color blue, and after tapping the sides of our chucky pack, now it's time to lift it and see the burst of colors. <gasps> Tada! Now you can continue stamping and tapping onto the white paper using the color blue, or you may also use the color red and the color yellow. Now let's stamp our pack again into the blue paint. 
and maybe tilt our box a little and stamp it onto our white paper so we can see a larger burst of color. Tap, tap all of the sides of our pack. And three, two, one. Time to lift it. Did you know that grade schoolers grow and develop at a fast pace? Kaya pagdating sa baon nila, bigyan mo sila ng love nilang Chucky. Milk siya. Tilang chocolate. With the nutrients your child needs for school and play. Minsan lang sila bata, ipabaon mo na. Since we will also be using other colors, for today's activity, let's cut more of our Chucky packs. We'll be doing the same process that we did a while ago. Cutting again. Maybe we could use different sizes this time. And lift the flaps open again. And lay it flat onto our table. Now that we have our packs for stamping, now what's missing now is the color the other colors that we could use for today's activity. Since we have our primary colors blue, yellow, and red, what if we mix two of them to make other colors? Let's try it first with what we have on our plate, the blue paint. And let's get some yellow. We'll be getting some yellow paint and put it on to our paper plate containing our blue paint. Now let's mix it up and see the magic happen. You can ask your little buddies to guess what color is going to come out when we mix yellow and blue together. Mixing, mixing. Or you could even let them mix it for themselves. And there we have it. We have now the green paint. We just had to mix the blue and the yellow paint together. Aside from yellow and blue, we could also mix other paint like the yellow and the red. I'm going to be getting some yellow. Some yellow. And some red. And mix it together in a single paper plate. Now see what happens if we mix these two together. What color are we going to create by mixing red and yellow? We have created the orange color. Now we have one last pair of primary colors left. And that is the blue and the red paint. You can ask your little buddies what do they think would come out when we mix the blue paint and the red paint together. And they should be able to answer purple. Now that our other paints are ready, we have the orange and the green, we could use the other boxes that we were able to cut a while ago. So the same process goes on again. We're just going to stamp the skirt part of our pack onto the orange paint and have it stamp onto the white paper. Don't forget to tap tap the sides of your pack. So that we can create a more colorful burst. We could also use the green paint that we have mixed a while ago. Dip the skirts in. Dipping all of the sides onto our green paint. Remember, we didn't have a green paint a while ago. We just had to mix the blue and the yellow paint together. And then stamp it onto our white paper. Don't forget to tap it so that the color would transfer onto our white paper. 
And three, two, one. Lift it. And now that you have created your own burst of colors, you can actually mix more colors out of red, yellow, or blue. Or even challenge your little buddies on what color would orange and green make. This has been an exciting, creative, and enriching visual arts activity for your buddy with the help of our chocolatey buddy, Chucky. For more ideas, go to the Ready Academy playlist found at the Nestle Philippines channel for fun and meaningful activities updated every week. This has been Teacher Liza from the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program, and I'll see you again in the next Ready Academy. My chocolatey buddy.